Michael Papadakis, and I am a sunlight artist. I work in uh, a field called heliography. It uh, uses sunlight in all definitions of the term. I use uh, reflection and refraction to focus the sun's energy onto uh, specific organic materials. I started this practice in 2012 when I was traveling uh, across the Silk Road from South Korea to Greece. And the fact that I was in mountainous regions and it was so sunny, um, it just kind of made perfect sense to scrap all of my original art materials and just carry around a magnifying glass. When I'm out in public doing this, uh, because you can't sit in a comfortable artist studio and do it. You have to be outside in the elements. In doing that, you get a lot of passerbyers, and your audience can give you mixed reactions. They're usually astonished. They get this kind of sense of disbelief, you know? And so for the past few years, I've noticed that uh, I've, I've had to get people to believe in the artwork, that it's actually possible or that it's actually all done by the sun. My favorite artwork would have to be the first piece I ever did. It was for my my nephew, and he didn't know I was making it for him and his family. And um, I spent about, I don't know, a couple weeks in the sun filming it, and um, instead of telling them about it, I posted the video of it so that they would see the video, and then I told them, you have a package arriving. It made me understand the, the importance of the visual aspect of this, the story behind it, and how powerful video can be in this process that I call heliography. This is on blue stone. I can't fully share the technique with you, but it's just sunlight. It's, it's words being written onto stone. So the evolution of this, I'm still beginning to understand. And I'm practicing from different distances. So as I'm painting with a big mirror, I'm stepping 20 feet back, 30 feet back, 50 feet back. So, so as I progress um, with the artwork, I'm progressing in my distance from which I paint. So hopefully one day I'll be able to paint. 